Hey friends, Tuesday, July the 2nd, after a couple weeks of a hiatus, we're back with Tuesdays with Marty. Um, wanted to find something uh, witty that Luther had said about loving one's nation or, uh, you know, putting one's nation in proper perspective. Um, I just didn't have time. Uh, so, uh, you know, any Luther quote is is a good one. And we'll, maybe we'll get to a good uh, on that, um, one on uh, statehood next year on on July 4th week. But uh, Luther said this, he said, I am not permitted to let my love be so merciful as to tolerate and endure false doctrine. Um, so in other words, you can have mercy and pity on someone, but if they're espousing false doctrine or embracing false teaching or living falsely, um, we can't love them so much that we keep silent. We actually have to speak truth to them. And, and that can be difficult to do because it sounds like we're judging them. Well, in a sense, we are. Uh, but isn't that what Christians are called to do with one another is hold each other accountable, rebuke, correct, teach, and encourage on our way to heaven so that we don't continue to go astray because going astray too far and too long could be disastrous uh, to our faith. And so uh, actually, um, Luther could also have said, let your love be so strong so that you will rebuke false doctrine, right? Because actually that's the loving thing to do. It certainly doesn't feel loving often to those who receive it. Um, it doesn't it's an uncomfortable thing to do sometimes, but the best thing we can do for people who are in error is alert them to that reality. And if we were straying, we would hope that some brother or sister in Christ would be so uh, bold as to not tolerate and endure our false teaching and doctrine or way of life, but would speak up to us. And of course, doing this in love is key, um, that it's done out of genuine concern, not a, a attempt to appear, appear holier than thou or uh, to be condescending, but to say, hey, I'm worried about you. Uh, we're Christians here. We know this is the kind of life God calls us to. We know this is what the things he asks us to believe in faith. And uh, uh, what you're believing, what you're tolerating, what you're doing is not in accord with that. And so that that's harmful to your soul. And so uh, here I am as a brother or sister in Christ to try to alert you to that and call you to repentance. Uh, so uh, that's a loving thing to do. And um, sometimes uh, our love is is masked as just its tolerance. And uh, love and tolerance aren't the same thing. Tolerance is 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 putting up with things. Uh, and there are many things we should put up with, weaknesses in our spouse or our friends, uh, character flaws that they have, um, that we all have, that if we just called out everybody every single time that we had a chance, we'd probably have no friends left or no relationships. And yet... Um, you know, we have uh, a friend who is embracing something that is is not wholesome or good or right. Um, we have an obligation. We have an obligation no longer to tolerate, but to speak. And I hope you'll find the courage to do that in your life when the opportunity presents itself. So you continue to have a great rest of your week. And uh, I'll see you later for Bible Teaching Thursday.